Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning, and it was nice having three days off. Really, really nice. Um, I did, you know, as you guys know, I, I cleaned my house top to bottom. I'm very, I'm feeling accomplished. <laughs> It's something everybody else does weekly. It's hard for me to get motivated enough to do it. And I did it, and I feel very good about it, and I'm going to keep it up. So, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's see what I wore today in makeup. First thing I wore is the Santee Eyebrow Designer in brown what it looks like um, not real impressed can you see that head it, it, it just keeps kind of ripping um, it worked I made it work it I will keep at it um, it's just not as nice as my other ones. But this is a dollar. It's a dollar. What do I expect? It's not going to be as good as my others. It's got a nice spoolie on it, though. Very nice spoolie. Very comfortable spoolie. Okay. Here I go. Um, Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. I like it. I would buy the full size. Don't know that I will because I have lots of mascaras, but I, I would. Um, I'm using the Model Co. Blush in Peach Bellini. This is just a sample size. For my lips today, I used my new Catrice Lip Foundation in Caramel Blonde to Go. And, you know, it's not as smooth as my Ulta, but it's very nice and it's very pretty on the lips. Okay, my next is um, the Collection Exclusive by J.Lo. This is number 370, Jennifer's Nude. This is uh, L'Oreal lipstick. I love these lipsticks. Love, love, love these lipsticks. They do have an odor to them, though, so if you don't like smells, it's not for you. Very pretty nude. Um, I wouldn't want it any lighter than this, for sure. It is as light as I would go. So anyway, that is my makeup of the day. Um, I don't have much else to tell you. I, I just yesterday was a filming day. Um, that's all I did, and uh, edit and upload. You know, I don't edit much. Um, uh, I crop and I, I cut here and there, but uh, that's really all that, that Windows um, Movie Maker will let me do. I don't have the fancier ones or that, you know. I would love to be able to make new headers and new um, intro things and stuff like that, new title pages, stuff like that, but I can't. So... Anyway, that's just the way it is. I, and Movie Maker is, is easy for me to use. It's not difficult, you know, makes me crazy or anything like that. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Bye -bye. and it's Wednesday. I don't know what to say this morning. I It was just a typical work day. I went to physical therapy after work. Um, just relaxed. Catching up on Night Shift. Have you seen that show? 
Oh, it's so good. I'm uh, just ending the... I think I've got two episodes left of the second season. And then I'll go on. I think I have one season left to watch. Um, I started watching it when it first came out. I think I watched two episodes and then quit watching it. I don't know why it just didn't suit me at the time. But I am in love with that show. I am so caught up with all the characters. And I love medical shows anyway. Um, Code Black, um, ER, Grey's Anatomy, all that kind of stuff. I love that stuff. So, Anyway, on to what I'm wearing today. I am wearing my Ulta. Um, brow tint in medium. This one is, uh, my other one is in light, and that is my favorite. But this, this is by far, this Ulta is by far the easiest brow mascara I have. It goes on like a dream, and it looks so nice. And I'm really starting to like this medium color. But it's got the Itty Bitty Wand, which I absolutely love. But I would I would repurchase this forever. I absolutely love this stuff. Okay, and for my regular mascara today, I am wearing the Revlon Bold Lacquer by Grow Luscious. And this is in Blackest Black. I love the long wand. I, I really like this kind of um, spoolie. And it works just fine on my lashes. You know, it's not spectacular, but it works good on my lashes. Okay, blush is my Tarte Blush and Exposed. Just such a pretty, um, pretty natural blush. Okay, for my lips, uh, today I wore my, it's the Essence, oh, I hate that when they put, they put like silver or gold writing on light colors. I cannot see what that says. Anyway, it's in the nude. And it's a pencil form. I didn't know if I was going to like this or not. But it's pretty creamy. It went on very easily. It didn't tug on my lips. Like, I've had some before that really tugged. So that's why I really didn't like the pencil form. But this went on just fine. And I'm wearing my new Lorac. Um, in Cat Lady. I should remember that name. It's perfect for me. But isn't that pretty packaging? It's just nice packaging. Okay, and then you pull it out, and it's this color. And it is, it goes on so creamy, and it just feels high-end. It doesn't feel, um, drugstore. I don't, I can't put my finger on it, but it just feels good on the lips. And it is just so pretty. You know, it's a, um kind of a, I don't know if it's satin or not. It's a little bit shiny. It's not matte, so it won't last, but it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Anyway, I'm going to let you go for this morning. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, and welcome to Thursday's edition of Making It Work. Um, I did not have physical therapy last night, but I did have to work an extra half hour at work uh, just to catch up a little bit. Let's get into my makeup today. I wore, the first thing I wore was my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in, I believe this is soft brown. I don't know. Oh, it is. It's soft brown. I'm still getting used to it, but I, I'm liking it more and more every time I use it. So I just like the slanted tip. I That's just easier for me. But 
I think it made my brows look fine. So, okay, my mascara was the Ulta Voluptuous Volume uh, in Jet Black. And this is a good mascara. It, uh, you know, as long as the mascara is not so wet that it, it clumps or too dry that it's hard to put on and makes my lashes look decent, I'm happy camper. You know, I am not super picky with my mascara, but I just don't like it too wet. This does transfer a little bit until it does dry, though. So you have to be careful and, you know, I wipe under my eyes a little bit, so... Uh, my blush today is Ulta Peony. Here in the Midwest, we call it Peony. Lots of I've heard lots of people call it Peony. It's to me, it's Peony. My favorite flowers, by the way. Very pretty. This doesn't have the sparkle in it. It does have sparkle in it, but not as much as the other one that I wore. Um, my lip pencil was the Catrice Lip Glow Lip Pencil. Can't say I'm real happy with this one. I probably won't wear this too much because it just kind of crumbles. I don't know. Am I using it wrong, guys? Does anybody else have this one? And, well, you can tell right there. It's part of the lipstick, lip crayon. Okay, so... If I can get it off my finger now. Um, my lipstick is 255. That's all it is. Is an Ulta lipstick. And can't say that I'm loving this either. Um, I mean, the color is very pretty, but it, it's it got almost a... Almost kind of a... It doesn't feel gritty, but it's got kind of a gritty look to it. I... It's really hard for me to, to explain, but I wish I wouldn't have got this because I should have went with my gut because um, I think I got that for $3. I think it was one of the uh, 21 Days of Beauty deals where you got like the bath um, foaming bath soap that I got for three dollars I think that was three dollars too and you can tell it's a three dollar lipstick <laughs> I'm not the please most pleased with that one anyway but I, I'm loving my Lorac one that I wore yesterday so anyway I will talk to you guys tomorrow hi bye everybody bye. and welcome to Friday my favorite day of the week and even though it's been four days, it just seems like it's been a very long week. So, let's get right to things. This is my day of my weekly favorites. And the first thing I wore was Ulta Brow Tint. No surprise there. I absolutely love it. goes on like a dream. And I'm starting to like this color a lot more. Um, the next thing for my mascara, I wore Smashbox X-Rated. I love the wand on this. And if I ever get through my, my stash of mascaras, I would probably repurchase that. Next is my Tarte Exposed. No, no um, question there either. I absolutely do love Tarte blushes. Next is my Catrice Lip Foundation. Now, um, I just chose this randomly. I, it's not my favorite because it's pencil form and I'm just, it's a little bit rough on the lips. It's, it already needs to be sharpened. Bef, you know, I've this is the second time I've used it and it already needs to be sharpened. So it won't last long, I don't think. Um, but, you know, it's still pretty on the lips. Once you get it on, it's very pretty on the lips. Then um, my Lorac lipstick which I am such a huge fan of. I'm absolutely loving this. And Cat Lady. Such a beautiful nude. 
I really like it a lot. Okay, so um, just to let you know, just a little update on my channel. Uh, on, on this series, anyway, is it's going to focus more on my personal and private life at home. Um, we won't be mentioning anything about, you know, at, vague statements about work like um, it was a long day or it was uh, we had a lot of caterings or something like that would be fine. But we won't be talking about anybody or um, the job anymore. You know, it's not a big deal. Um, well, we're just going to keep it casual and private and I'll, I'll still be able to talk to you guys, you know, it's just, it's the way it is. I will talk to you very soon. See you next week, and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.